video tape. Did you put the plug in? Yes, I did. I'm just not doing anything. I'm just walking around following you. If you're a young kid from Illinois trying to make it, how do you become this successful? Uh, I don't know. Like trying to adjust my settings. Why is my face so white? Oh, that's right, because you haven't been outside, Alex. A little tip of the day for all you, uh, man, the fan I just met at the launch, it was his son. I think he was maybe four years old and he watches my videos. And, and that makes me really need to be careful of what the heck I say to this camera. So hard. People were asking me, like, who is this video for? I don't know. I'm always reading all the negative comments or whatever. You know, you know how it is. You guys know. Me complaining about negative comments is nothing new for this channel. I just do what I'm doing in the day, you know? I'm just out here doing what I do in the day. So welcome back to AP Bassing. Today I'm fishing with my buddy Eric B. Eric B has never been on this channel, even though I'm, I've filmed with him in the past year. I might dig up some old footage to end this video with with Eric, but hopefully we don't have to do that because we're going to catch some big old... It is Sunday, March 13th. It's crazy how somebody can text you and it'll put a smile on your face. Stay tuned, stay wacky, stay fresh. Let's go freaking fishing, baby! Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Target species is actually carp today, but I'm figuring we're gonna roll into some buffalo, some, I said carp and I said buffalo carp. Yes, we're after buffalo carp, but I think we're gonna run into probably some walleyes, maybe some sturgeon. You also could accidentally snag a paddlefish here. There's muskies, there's bass, there's all sorts of stuff. And it is, I'd, I'd like to say the first day of spring because it's 50 degrees outside. You gosh damn scrubs. I just start drinking it. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking this. I just picked it up to put in the trash can. Nice out, dude. Dude, it is so nice out. And it's official, first cast of open water. This is a 50 inch rod, debatably one of the best open water jigging rods. Probably no debate, I just made that up. I'm using a 5 16 ounce jig. We're in the back of the boat. It's moving. It felt like fishing line. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Fight a little longer. What's your best fish out of this hole? Back in 1985, I caught a big one out of here. Can I change my lure up? You got any of those red ripping wraps? My dad used to have this Rapala jointed perch I used to catch a bunch of fish on. I watched this show with Bay Winkleman once and he was, he was just jerking this banjo minnow off the bottom here and just caught him. Wasn't even fishing, it was just catching. Got a little, little, little pop the hips, little. Every fish that I catch, you gotta take a piece of clothes off, and if I and if you catch a fish, I gotta take a piece of clothes off okay. until you're butt naked in here. That's actually funny. Okay, fine. Yeah, we're doing that. Deal. Yeah. Obviously, we'll we'll just go down to our underwear. Any fish, any size. My name is Alex Barrick. This is Eric B. or Eric. How do you say your last name? Berstowski. It's Polish. Say it one more time. Berstowski. What's your name? Eric. Eric what? Eric Berstowski. The reason why this is funny is we're fishing in a group of <laughs> older walleye anglers. Let's just let's just put that out there. Most of these dudes are maybe double, triple our age out here. <laughs> <laughs> triple our age. You're what? You're 21? No, I'm 19. You're 19. So triple your age oh, would be like 70, 60. 60. 60. Damn. I'm you just it's gonna be funny it's also 40 degrees outside with a nipply 15 to 10 to 20 mile an hour wind probably more like 15. good luck i'd say i have at least i don't know 15 articles of clothing on get out of here what do you, you can't just like i have a sweatshirt i have two sweatshirts a shirt two pairs of pants on bibs a hat okay, well, sunglasses black is hooked up. let's do this anything you want to say to the camera uh, I don't know. Everyone wants to see Alex naked though, probably. But 
That's for a different channel. Get, the net. Get, the net. Get, the net. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get him in the net. Take off your clothes. That is in the mouth. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful fish. Net him. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, don't put him in the boat yet. These buffaloes, they actually eat minnows and crayfish. They're not a like a common carp that eat corn and stuff. They're carnivores, so you can catch them on artificials and a jig and minnow. Happens quite frequently, but when you can get on them, this is actually a very fun thing to do. And they're really cool fish. They're beautiful. Everyone talks about them being a trash fish, but look at this thing. Pretty. Ah. Graceful. All right, and there goes the first article of clothing. My hat. I wish I could be bass fishing too. Oh, damn it. Yes. No. no. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take off my sunglasses. I, wow, that's the first thing to go is the sunglasses. What do you mean? Better than a hat. Fish number one for me. Adios. Fish? Fish? Yeah, it is a buffalo. Buffalo. Is it a fish? Yeah, it is a fish. Head shaking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the paddle? I... Better, better be hooked in the mouth. I know. It, might be. it feels like it's in the mouth. Don't worry about me. You worry about you. Huh? Let's go. We're hooked up. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> pull, this, pull, this, pull this ice rod. Did you do it or no? No. Dude, that's sick. Okay, the ice rod is standing up to the brute force of this thing. I don't think this is a buffalo. You don't think so? Was it like on the bottom or? Yeah, I just reeled up and there was a fish on it. Well, it might be a sturgeon. Oh. oh, by species action. I really hope he's hooked up. be a big buffalo. I really hope it's a buffalo. Is it head shaking my own? Yeah. This is... a big walleye, dude. This is so fun. I don't think it's a walleye. It is a walleye. What do you mean? That's how they fight, dude. They fight different. 15 pound test. It's a 10 pound leader. Jigging a minner. What do we got? This rod is double over. 50 inch medium. Just crank it on this thing. I love this. It's the bite that just gets me hooked every time. I'm just praying it's in the mouth. You know, a lot of times when you're fishing rivers, you accidentally snag fish. And that's definitely not what we want. Okay. Oh, it's a sturgeon. Oh, in the mouth too. Yeah, it is, 100% it's in the mouth, dude. You can't net him? Okay. Okay, you got him right here? I mean, I don't want to Right here? Fish on? Okay, you got this or what? You gotta grab it! This is, this is a fish of a lifetime here on an ice rod, bro. I'm just kidding. But still, it's sick. 
he gonna come up though? Gotta stay out. Oh yes! <laughs> In the mouth, baby. No, it's not. What do you mean? That is in the mouth. That's actually not in the mouth. <laughs> Get out of here. Tail and then under. There, I can do it right here with this. <laughs> Ice rod sturgeon, baby. <laughs> not really supposed to take these out of the water, but it doesn't fit in the net. Okay, going back. Yep, perfect. Oh. Boom. <laughs> okay, so that... It, count. it was in the snout. Doesn't count for our little challenge, but pretty cool that this rod held up to that. Just to clarify, the score is still one to one because we made it clear that it has to be in the mouth. There's a lot of paddlefish here, a lot of sturgeon, a lot of things that accidentally get snagged. Even though I think that fish might have eaten my bait if I would have left it there for a little bit longer because it was right near its mouth. It's clear the lure has to be in the fish's mouth for it to count. Nonetheless, still an awesome fight on a 50 inch ice rod. And uh, good way to start my open water season, I'll say that. I'm not mad, I'm just about to school you, bro. Oh! Get in the oh! boat! Oh. It's like 14, probably. That camera die? Walleye number two, fish number three, but fish number two, that means it is two to one. What's, what's getting taken off? The jacket? Okay, like it. I just figured you're gonna need minnow spoil. No. Hooked up. This is so eventful. Fights like a damn wet sock. Oh, and it's not in the mouth. Oh. Dude, it's got spots on it's it. It's not in the mouth. Yeah, I was dragging it. Dude, look how cold this thing is. It's like a little ice cube. Ah. It's a little icicle. And you thought that was a keeper walleye. Yeah, I barely fought. Walleye fight like a wet sock. That means it's still two to one. Let's do a little, let's do a little midday update. A little. Oh. Here, here, here. This is your midday. This is your midday update brought to you by AP Eric B Fishing. Eric B Fishing. Um, just a suburban kid from Illinois is what his bio says. Is this your first time ever fishing with me? I don't know, third or fourth. How how was the river trip with me and Dan? Was that your worst day of fishing all last year? No, we got like six flathead. It was sick. I'm not. I'm not talking about the fishing. I'm just talking about guest wise. Where was I your worst guest ever? Uh, no. Oh. I've had worse. <laughs> Eric loves to take people out. More. You mostly fish near the Dells. Uh, all over the Wisconsin River. It just depends on the bite. We've got to share the boat many a times, and this is a. Uh, he's got a beautiful tracker, which is awesome to fish out of, and. Uh, <laughs> I've got too many cameras rolling. There's just beeping constantly going on in this boat. It, it's just part of how dirty this river is, and I think that's kind of what's hindering. We thought we would catch a lot more walleye than we are catching. We're having fun. Whatever. Okay. Let's keep fishing now. That, that, was, was, a, that was a good midday <laughs> update. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm so sick of you. Dude, I am, don't tell me how many rods I need to use and how many rods you need to use, okay? Really? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, 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 oh, it's jumping. Oh, yeah, net this thing, it's a good one. Oh, yeah! You're not a... Can you net him for me? There you go. Can you scoop him? Yay! In the mouth. In the mouth. It's crazy that they eat artificial. 
unfortunately, that means it is two to two. Okay, this is a smallmouth buffalo, I think. Um, it's kind of slower, but I think we may have found a few, so hopefully the action's good. Hopefully Alex actually catches one, because these things put up a, quite a fight. Can't really talk, the sun's in my eyes, but he has to take off one of his sweaters, probably, so. Are oh, you gonna take off? No, you, you already took those off. Oh, my hat, this is it's two to two. Okay, well, taking off his glasses then, that's kind of pointless, but put her back. Can I get a picture? Yeah. Score is officially two to two. Yeah. I don't believe this. Look at how fast he's going at the boat. <laughs> Look at this. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, he's in the mouth. Get him. See, guys, these fish eat lures. This is the most fun bite in the spring. This is my favorite bite. Get him. That's a beauty, dude. Okay. There you go, another buffalo. So fun on a twister tail. Three to two, Alex has to take off something now, so. Yeah, take it however you like it, guys. You're gonna have to start paying for this soon. Can I put him back? Yeah! Sweatshirt number one, coming off. Just me like biting it off. That one? You got one! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today and, adventure. and for uh, us actually catching some fish. It's been a while since the people of AP Bassin have seen any fish on this channel. I'm usually just playing around in my yard. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Uh, if you guys want to see another episode of Eric and I fishing together, he, um, he guides pretty close to where I'm currently at in Wisconsin. And uh, he's from the suburbs of Chicago, just like me. And he's got a huge fishing career ahead of him. So wish him luck. I will leave his Instagram below if you want to check him out. And uh, yeah, the river's super muddy. And I think that kind of led to some issues with us getting bit by the walleyes. But we caught some rough fish, hooked a sturgeon, caught a sturgeon. It was, it was an eventful day to say the least. So thanks, buddy. That was dope. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of AP Bassin'.